In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the basic elements of VisiSketch Pro to sketch an outline of your, uh, of your um, chosen image and also to color it in to give it the effect of a, a fully pencil colored in sketch. The first thing we need to do with VisiSketch Pro uh, when you open a new project is to load a primary image. For this uh, example, I've done a, f a, a floral outline or a floral print in um, Photoshop and you can see what it looks like here. I'll just open it up. It might be a nice opening uh, slide to a uh, a slideshow on uh, on flower and gardening if you happen to be a garden member. Um, anyway, along with that, I'm going to also load a background, and the background is really nothing other than the gradient itself. So the the background is the gradient. The primary image is the flower and lettering on the gradient. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, and uh, all VisiSketch Pro uh, drawings begin this way, is with a new dot group. We're going to put a little dot here and a little dot there and that's going to be the first group and the reason I did that right at the bottom of the screen is because then when that gives the pen a good place to start rather than to just suddenly appear on the uh, drawing uh, which wouldn't look very natural so now if I choose a new dot group I'm going to go up here to a flower and I'm just going to simply click along with dots to outline this flower and you'll notice I'm placing them at about oh a quarter to three sixteenths of an inch apart, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. It's not that terribly critical. But you try to be somewhat exact on your outline because you don't want it to look uh, too childish. Uh, anyway, as we continue along here with the dot pattern, um, once you do a few of the... Oops, see, now I missed that dot there just a little bit, so I'm going to erase that dot. And I'm going to start back over and say continue this pattern along this line right here. And you can see that when we finally finish this thing, I will have outlined the uh, whole flower. And uh, it's not that difficult at all, just simply to march along the outline of the flower, laying down dots and VisiSketch takes care of uh, putting the lines in that are going to ultimately interconnect to, to draw this underlying image. So if we just click along here, like so, and come around this little leaf or bud or whatever that is, and come back down the stem, and we go and close that up and come down to where we eventually began. Now at this point, perhaps it might be worth seeing what we've got so far. So if we just draw the background and then tell the program to draw the lines, you can see the outline of the flower that you've gotten. Uh, if you'd like to see what that would look like as it, it drew in the animated form, that's about the speed at which that outline will draw when you uh, finally render your AVI output from VisiSketch Pro. But for more um, for more interesting things to do. We can now go back and we're going to redraw the lots just to see where we've been, but an outline of the flower really doesn't show you much, so let's take a new dot pattern and we're going to start adding in a little more detail of what's contained in this flower, perhaps drawing that petal distinct from another and along here for catching that petal and the fold on this petal right here. We're just drawing, taking new dot groups and drawing these as is necessary to fill in everything. And I'll go over here and add a little definition here to this petal and the same way here we'll add a little definition down here to this one. And maybe come into this petal area right here and try to pick up some definition here like so. Distinguish that little leaf from the flower itself. Uh, a few more dot patterns over here. We'll go up this petal here and add some definition. Uh, that's kind of what it's all about when you're making a, a drawing in in VisiSketch. Is you start with the basics and then you just add more and more definition to the picture as you go. So something like that there. If we come down here, we can catch some of this shadow definition that's being being cast down on this petal here. Uh, I 
keep, as you'll notice, I keep grabbing new dot groups in order to make these things distinguished from one another. It's okay to overlap like that though and come back and and come back up here and catch a little more definition right there. Uh, maybe I'll catch a new dot group for this little bit right in through here and a new dot group for up here to catch these uh, little whatever these are, these little pestules or whatever they're called here with that hold the uh, the seeds for the flower come up that seed stem there and back down and we'll go back up this one and back down and then up this one and again come back down and then up this one outline that seed pod there and come back down and maybe round this off by doing just a little more definition in there now now if we just draw the background we can see that we've pretty much gotten a, a rough line drawing of this uh, of this sketched animation what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to move down to show you another part of the screen and in this part of the screen you can see that we have a box here, or filter, uh, a button here called filters it defaults to the filters being turned on and in this case I'm going to to turn on the smoothing, I'm going to turn on the increase in the line contrast, and I'm going to tell the uh, system to color the lines with the primary image. That'll make the lines not black any longer, but they'll start assuming the color of the underlying primary image. Um, also, a nice level here for smoothing the lines, you don't want the jaggies too much, is maybe a level, a level of three. And we do want to increase the contrast after we've done the smoothing, and I'm going to take it up to about a level of eight. Now, if we draw the background and then draw the lines, if we move back up to the image, you'll see that we have now drawn somewhat of a rough outline of what this flower is going to look like. It's not yet colored in, but it's, it's the first stages of how to get to a final sketch in, in VisiSketch. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to redraw. I'm going to turn those filters off. They're off screen right now for you, but anyway, I'm turning the filters off and I'm going to draw the lines again and I'm going to redraw all the dots so I can see where I've been up to this point. 